Good day viewers. Just out for a little explore today along this railroad track and I see right along here there's a few apple trees so I'm going to come up in here and check it out. And just as I was coming up in, look down on the ground here and there is an old Hiram Walker Whiskey Gates bottle shard there. Canada's top export whiskey back in the day. And that's probably from the 40s or 50s. So I might be in a might be in the right location here for finding some stuff. So I'm gonna go up in here, I'll check it out. If I find anything, I'll get you back up on. If not, maybe I'll throw this clip in uh, with a bunch of random ones. Who knows? Over and out. Just wanted to show you this bottle, folks, that is referred to as the Hiram Walker Whiskey Gates bottle. And it is appropriately named, as you can see, it is designed after the gates at the Hiram Walker headquarters. This is a pint size one, dates 1940-1950, and there is a quart size one as well, and it is just as visually stunning as this one here. Check it out. Beautiful bottle. So exploring around here, folks. And I see some apple trees here, up in the middle of the woods. Oh, I think I see a green bottle right there at the base of that one. Look, it opens right up. Okay, hold on a second. Just a minute now. Just a minute. Fairly old, but not like a hundred years old. But I see a pile of debris right here. Right by this old apple tree. Check it out. All right. Look at that. Well, that's pretty cool. I would say somebody's probably been here digging. All right, well, I'm going to dig around. This is a big old patch. This might be a cellar hole. Don't know for sure, but... Okay. Well, pretty sure I'm into some 50s stuff. For sure. Seems to be some plastic stuff kicking around here. Might check that out. Part to a kid's trumpet or something. Right down in here. I just flip this out. I've seen what was on the other side. Check it out. Some sort of plate. Bar Harbor. Huh. That's a cool little item there i'll keep that for sure bar harbor bar harbor maine neato scrape this uh baby bottle up thought i had a good baby bottle but the top of it's busted off it stork baby bottle it's a stork on the base there you see that kind of neat However, I just look over here, and uh, here's another one. Laying right on the surface. Well, that says stork on the base, too. A little harder to see that one. But that one looks to be in good condition. Moss growing in it. Well, kind of cool. What else? I just pulled something else out here, too. Where is it? Right here. An old uh, crown top bottle opener. Pretty neat. All right, I got a couple things here, folks. First up, this mission's beverage just come out. The label's not in very good condition. I'm not sure of the year on these ones. 40s, maybe, or 50s. 2349, that might stand for... 49 might be 1949. I'm not 100% sure. Don't take my word on it. Next up, <laughs> this trailer come out. Toy trailer. And uh, it's a Dinky Super Toys. And it says Guy underneath there. I don't know what that means, but uh, I don't see any number, identifying number for the piece. But I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's definitely from the 50s. Cool piece. Wheels are gone off it, but. Uh, Neato. 
Neat little toy. First up, folks, don't forget to give a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Sure do appreciate it. And here is what turns out not to be a wagon at all, but a Dinky Super Toys number 511 four-ton lorry truck, circa 1950. And we just flip it around here. The cab portion is broke off the front of the truck. So it may still be there on site somewhere. But it's also a good indication that there's uh, some other toys there on site as well. So stay tuned. Keep watching. We got some uh, turn of the century finds coming right up, folks. Thumbs up. Next finder, folks, right here. A little baby spoon. Seems to be in a remarkable condition. If it's not solid silver, it's definitely going to be silver plated for sure. It's got an M up there. Check it out. Can't make out the markings on it. Oh. Okay, well, anyways, I'll uh, check it out and I'll uh, get back to you. Okay, viewers, I did clean the back of it up and check it out. I took a picture of it. We'll see if you can make that out. It does say Sterling. Patent date 1908. How about that? Very cool, very cool. Just got a silver spoon, folks. A solid silver spoon. That's my first one. That is very cool. <laughs> yes, sir. Right in uh, this old uh, bunch of 50 stuff. There you go. Digger all. <laughs> 1908 silver spoon. Beauty. All right. These just come out, folks. Check it out. Two broken tops. Both hand blown. This one is... As purple as can be. Right down in here. Oh, I just dropped that other one. I might be getting into some older stuff right here. Okay, I'll get you back up if anything else comes out. There's a, something hopeful right there. Folks, I was about to get out of here, but uh, I thought, no, I'll stay and scratch around a little bit more. And this here had just come out. It's another uh, toy truck, but it is smushed. I might keep it anyways and sort of put it back into shape. Then, after I picked that up and looked at it and set it down, I looked in the hole again right beside where I picked that up, and I see this little cork top amber bottle there. I thought, hmm, look at that. Rolled it over. <laughs> it's Edge and Boss, folks. It's a poison bottle. <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? Wow, hey? And I think it's blown, too. It is. How cool is that? Huh? Wow. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I haven't found a poison bottle, actually, in a while now. And this is in amongst some 1950 stuff. Look, there's another one of those spoons. I don't think that one's solid silver, though. Might be, though. Anyways, back to this here. Ta-da! <laughs> All right, let's keep digging. Okay, real quick here, folks. First up, we got... Uh... This London toy oil tanker, and it is smushed, and it was simply breaking apart when I tried to bend it back into position. So I'll be throwing that one out. It is the original orange color. Check it out. And uh, they were it was released in the late 1940s. Then we got the sterling silver baby spoon. Very nice. With the patent date of 1908 on the back. Don't know if you can see that or not. Might be able to see it there. It says Sterling. Oh, I almost dropped it. First silver spoon that I've dug. This one is 
silver plate it. Unfortunately, it's not solid. And uh, you can see down at the base of the bowl there, it's awful wore down. So somebody, some right-handed person was doing a lot of stirring with that one. <laughs> Got that wore right down. And then we have the poison bottle. Very cool find. I was super excited to dig that one. This little rectangular poison bottle was produced by Park Davis and Company. It originally contained mercuric chloride antiseptic tablets. And uh, apparently these often sell without the labels at auction for $20 to $30. And with the labels, they go for $40 to $50. So that's the first time I've seen one of these ones. First time I've dug it. And I'm happy to have it to put in my collection. Oh, another poison bottle for the collection. All right, folks, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Uh, a couple more finds coming up. Thanks for watching. <laughs> well, speaking of toys, folks, check this one out. Just flip that out. Can you see it? It's an alligator. A little plastic alligator. How cool is that? Awesome. Neat little toy. No identifying marks on it. I don't see. But, uh, might be able to date it. Looks like there's a lid to it. Maybe a second part. Might have been a complete cube. All right. Neat little piece. All right. Check it out, folks. And this stuff's awesome. <laughs> a little colorful yellow bear with a red bow tie on him. Too bad he's broke. How cool is that, though? That's pretty awesome. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to get out of here for today, folks. But before I do, right down in between these rocks, I see a little amber bottle. Okay, it's a screw top. It's not embossed. Well, it's base embossed, but I can't even make it out. I shouldn't have wiped it. It was that way, but uh, no, I can't make anything out on it. Anyways, there's nothing to get too excited about. Nothing to call the... <laughs> nothing to call friggin' uh, the New York Times about. <laughs> Alright, I might get out of here now.